Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of the greatest SBCs of FC24 is back in action as EA just released a new version. Even though this card is insane, there's some people still that are left wanting more. We're going to talk about that big SBC from yesterday and a lot of other things. You might be sitting on a gold mine of coins for cards that are in your club without even knowing it. We're going to talk about some cards that usually never sell that are actually selling on the market and cards you need to sell today because they're going to be dropping in price tomorrow and a bit of FC 25 news along with what to expect today on Tuesday in FC 24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, Mondays, right? Start of the midweek and content in the midweek is always really average, right? We don't have a ton of player SBCs. All that's on the weekend. We still have some. We still have some upgrade packs, but most of it is centralized to the weekend. Now, yesterday we had new upgrade packs as we do on Mondays. We get the player picks with the 81 plus player pick return. Unfortunately, a little bit disappointing here, guys, right? We knew the 82 plus pick was the better one. The 81 plus being back out with the same requirement of eight golds, but three rares. You're going to run into the same problem with this one that you did last week. You're going to run out of the rare golds. Now, of course, we do have the crafting upgrade that is still readily available for those who haven't completed already, which is going to give you a lot of rares. that will make the 81 plus pick easier to do, but this is why we saved and tried to say save the crafting upgrade SBC for after the 82 plus goes away because you'll really like that grind better in my opinion. So I'm excited to get into those. I started opening some. You might see the six at the top of the screen. That's how many special cards we've packed so far out of the what, 25 or 30 or so that we've opened from the crafting upgrade, just keeping count for fun. But the 81 plus player pick, I mean, it's still there. I know it's not as good. Some people like the fourth option. They think it actually gives better weight and maybe the lower rating does impact who you get, but it's still worth doing because commons are so easy to get a hold of with the daily gold upgrade. So if you want to grind any player picks this week, if you're crafting an SBC still doing the exchange grind, this is still a doable SBC, but gold rares will be the issue. Now, 86 plus pick was also released yesterday. I have one more of these to do. Let's see if we can. Oh, I guess I started doing the SBC and then didn't complete it. Um, we have one more of these to finish off right here. But this is a player pick that I like. I'm a fan of the 86 plus player pick because it's an upgrade over the 85 that we used to have and they stopped releasing it. But now we have an 86 plus, which is nice. The 85 rated squad is just okay. This is just a chance at getting some of those higher rated cards. Like that, Diani 92 rated. That's boom, going straight into the Butragueno SBC or an icon pick when those refresh for sure. So that's nice. I like the 86 plus pick. There's not a whole lot to say about that, except it is good. Now, let's talk about the big SBC, guys. We are talking about Timo Werner, an FC24 legend. I think it's certifiable to say that Timo Werner is an, SP, uh, an FC24 legend because of this SBC right here, the fantasy version, right? Six thousand thumbs up on Footbin, by the way. I did not know that before. But this card was released during the fantasy promo. He scored goals. Spurs got wins. Yes, and, and crazy, you might say. Incredible that they were able to do so. But he got upgrades, and this card has become one of the staple SBCs post-team of the year of this game. Like, when I think back of FC24 SBCs that really made an impact for so many people's clubs, sure, there's been a lot this year, but this Timo Werner would probably be in the top 10 of craziest SBCs, along with Rolfo during that fantasy promo for sure. But this card was literally everywhere, even up until team of the season. He was everywhere in people's teams. So, with this Werner card coming back with a 97-rated footies, what do we think about this one? Well, you can see the upvote to downvote ratio is pretty high. People like this team over and he's right in at 300,000 coins. He's 97 rated. He is very, very good. I'm going to say, guys, I know there's a little bit of Spurs bias here, you may say, but he is a must do, especially if you did the fantasy version. You know how to play with this card. That's going to help you already. You know what Timo's good at, right? It's the pace. It is the power shot. He's even got technical plus on this version and a rapid plus, which is going to make him even more OP. And always, he just has aura. He just, like, he's just one of those cards in game that is just built different. You know what I'm saying? Like, in game, he's just always so good that he's worth doing cards for, worth getting whenever he gets an upgraded version and this one is the same thing i played one game with him yesterday it was actually my promotion game to go from division one to the elite division and he scored two goals and won me the game like he was an absolute beast it's the pace for sure rapid plus with this pace is crazy now when you look at the card you see a couple of things that are a little bit problematic he needs a finisher for the balance and the agility boost in my opinion the shooting is great 
the passing is great, or sorry, the uh, pace is great, the shooting is great, dribbling is solid, passing is, you know, it's there. Short pass is fine. He's got Tiki Taka, which helps in the buildup as well. But a lot of people are looking towards the small, like, glaring, missing things from his card and really trying to rate this SBC as a negative SBC and not a good enough one. And I think for the price, I think we have to look at it in that regard, right? This is not a Butroglenio challenging card. For the price, he's close. He actually has more in-game stats than Butroglenio. We, we compared them yesterday on stream. But since he's not 5-star, five 5-star, five he's only 300,000 coins. If this card would have been 5-5, five five, then EA probably would have gotten away with a disgusting price and we would be paying a lot more for this Werner card. So honestly, for me, this card is like an 8.5 out of a 10 for an SBC. He's right up there with Dybala as an SBC to do during footies. It's one of the best player SBCs that we have had. And I know that it's not like the Butroguenio type SBC where it's somebody that's really insane, that's super high rated, with 5 star, 5 star, with crazy playstyle pluses that we know is going to be overpowered, that we can grind for with all of our fodder, get us something to chase in that regard. Like that kind of big ticket SBC is still what we're searching for. We Another one, right? Butroguenio kind of scratched the the itch but the itch is back again because it just it didn't it's not as good as it could be with Butrogonio he's still great he's one of the best strikers in the game for sure but it could still be a little bit better. So with that Werner, I think people wanted more. They wanted the five star, five star. They wanted finesse plus. I think this card does Timo Werner in real life a lot of justice though, and I think it's very accurate in that regard. So this is a great SBC man, uh, but I think it's far off enough from that great insane level that we want that it's leaving some people wanting some more. So with that Timo, it's only 300k. I think it's great for the price. I think it's a super easy craft. I really don't have any complaints. Um, Unless we are not getting any more SBCs that are like Butroguenio going forward, which I almost guarantee you we will. We're probably only a couple of days away from the next like insane, really good to craft SBC. I think that team is a must do. I mean, the only problem is if you have Butroguenio, if you have R9, if you have somebody really insane in your team, and you're like, Nate, this guy doesn't get into my team. I understand that. But again, if that's a card that you want to try just to have fun, to spice it up, then absolutely do the Teemo. I'll probably talk too much about him. But let's talk about the other things from yesterday's content. Really, that was it. It was the two-player picks, and then it was the Werner SBC. But I want to talk about some stuff related to your ultimate team club that you might not know about contracts guys and it might have something to do with the weekend league at the moment so maybe it's worth looking into this right away contracts have been selling it's probably going to go up in price for this next weekend league as well on friday saturday sunday contracts have been going up because so many of the packs that ea are releasing do not have contracts in them those store packs right we're all opening crafting upgrades 85 times whatever is an 84 times tens there's no contracts going around and with a lot of people on the game guys the servers were even slow and laggy yesterday for contracts content on a Monday. That means there's a lot of people playing this game at the moment because it's footies and there's a lot of hype for the game in that regard. Like contracts are going up and it is a really, really good time to sell them if you want some free coins. Like I went to my club here and I have how many? I have 188 tradable rare gold contracts. These all sell for 500 coins a piece. We did the math on the stream. That's like 80 to 90,000 coins. And you might even have more than that, right? So you can sell these for like 450 to 500. They sell almost instantly. And the gold common contracts as well. Oh my gosh. I have 980 of these. 400 of them are wow. So like I have a bunch of coins right here that I could all sell for these and it would take a little bit of tedious work. Yes, but if you're looking for some coins and if you're down bad, you're looking to buy some investments or you just want to like save up for another store pack or just to build your coins back up like look to your consumables pile. This is how you add them really easily. Go to your transfer list and hit L3, search by consumables, go to contracts, and you can list them straight up from there. I do imagine the prices will dip a little bit as we head out of the weekend league, less people are playing games, but definitely this next weekend, if you don't want to sell them for like 400 or whatever, 500 today, they might be back up to like 700. Even some people are saying they got sales at 2000 coins on the weekend for contract cards because nobody was listing them up. So yeah, it sounds crazy to be listing contracts in August, but you might as well go ahead and do it some free coins. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is team of the season cards. You saw the Tots cards in my transfer list. I sold the couple that I had invested in. There was not very many. As we're talking fodder, Tots cards are 40,000 coins again, guys. They go up to 45,000 every single day at the content drop when the new stuff is released, but then they come back down. Today is your last day to get out of these cards. They were 40K last night. They went up to 45K at the content drop. Almost the same thing as Sunday. 38K up to 45, 46. I bet today they're going to have another spike, and then you're going to want 
want to sell because tomorrow on Wednesday is the day that these team of the season cards will crash once again because everybody will be opening the 90 plus tots upgrade for virtually free and you'll be able to sell these cards get some easy coins in your club as well people are going to be looking forward to that so team of the week and team of the season cards I think today after content are a sell for sure because they're getting out uh, re-released and they're going to be supplied again tomorrow now other fodder really didn't rise that well yesterday 84s are still back down at 1.2 k 85s are up a little bit they're like 2.7 so they're not down at minimum price but they they didn't go up a ton yesterday from like 2.5 to 3k so that's not a, a lot of a, a rise there but i do believe there could be some more rises on fodder today 84s and 85s so I would say maybe look into that a little bit later on today. If you want to get on some bids, there is potential for that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is this FC25 news about Rush. And we've talked about Rush a decent amount on the channel already. If you've watched the other FC25 informational videos, we got a deep dive and a trailer video yesterday on Rush. And there was a lot of information for this, but honestly, I was hoping for some more in-depth info because a lot of what was talked about yesterday and a lot of what was shown was stuff that we already knew about Rush, right? It's 5v5 AI goalkeepers and then four individual players. You're controlling one player on the team, especially relating to ultimate team. I was hoping to learn some more about the specifics of it, right? And we didn't learn a whole lot. But I think EA was just trying to like explain to people what the rush mode was about because this is their first big announcement on it, apart from the regular reveal trailer, which just showed the bits and pieces of rush. So yeah, I wish we would have learned more, especially going into the deep dive in relation to Ultimate Team. Really, the only thing that we saw about Ultimate Team was the fact that there's different objectives that you can complete. Um, I guess maybe the picture is no longer there. There was totally a picture in here about ultimate team with the objectives and stuff. Career mode, clubs rush. Yeah, they took the picture out of here, man. That's weird. I'll go into, yeah, this part right here is where it was, where you can see where you're picking your team of players. And then on the right side, it's it's cropped out for the uh, Twitter video. But there's actually requirements that can get you more rush points. So we went in depth on that on the second channel. If you want to go ahead and check that video out, we were more in depth kind of looking through things and our honest opinions on how the rush mode looks. I'm still very excited for the mode, but I'll be completely honest. I was a little bit underwhelmed by this deep dive yesterday from that and the information that was a part of it. So it still looks like it's going to be a really fun game mode and I'm excited for all the intricacies of it and how it's going to tie into ultimate team with XP or the rush points for the season pass, however that's going to look. I still don't know or can't get a good read on the way it sounds if there's going to be certain packs and rewards, which if it's a fun game mode, I'm sure EA doesn't want to put like rewards on it like rivals or like foot champs that would make it end up being a bit more sweaty, but just kind of like the fundamentals of the game mode itself does seem really fun. So I'm excited for it still for sure. But yesterday was a little bit maybe disappointing, honestly, in that regard, uh, because we didn't learn as much as I was hoping to learn. They said more of it's going to come out during the ultimate team reveal so check out the second channel for that one there's more news and information there and also for those of you that have been playing rivals and maybe interacting with the or even experiencing people quitting out and scoring three own goals to lose the game that was patched yesterday in a really fast and quick title update from ea sports so that was posted up yesterday i believe that should not be happening anymore um if you were using it or abusing it or if it was just annoying playing rivals because you were loading in and somebody was just quitting out with three goals which i guess isn't that annoying because you get free wins and that's how i was able to get my wins super duper easy this week then play another game to get into the elite division um yeah that's uh over now because the title update has come out for that now really quickly before we move on to today's content on tuesday other things that happened yesterday were footies cards do be dropping Lewandowski 765k hansen's now in the five mil range Best is under 800K as well. And the reason I even halfway care about this and we're looking at these prices right now and you're like, Nate, I don't care about investing. I don't care about footies price as well. When I show you a graph like this from last week of Courtois going from 46,000 coins up to 90K where he is now, I mean, who wouldn't have wanted to double their money on a card a week later? You know, nobody would mind doing that. So I think we do need to keep an eye on some of these cards. Goretzka's up big. Sancho has risen nicely as well. Ramirez was down at 120 at one point. He's at 170. So I think we need to keep an eye on some of the cards this week. Diego Carlos being one of them for a cheaper version. Ledley King being another. And then just some of the other um, footies cards that are out there as well. Maybe the Rolfo card for Rarity. Maybe the Benzema. Maybe even the Allen St. Maximin and Bum Pastor for the prices that they are. Even Van Nistelrooy. They might be 
worth watching later on in the week. If you look at the prices from last week from team number one, the lowest was usually later on in the week, like Wednesday, Thursday aspect. Uh, so I wouldn't expect these cards to be investable today. I think I would wait a little bit later on, but we will just have to see what happens there. Those prices are dropping though, as you would expect. That's normally how things move on a Monday market. Now let's talk about Tuesday today because there's always one thing we look forward to on Tuesdays, guys, and that is another SBC pack or player pick to have some fun with. And today we should be hopefully getting this SPC back and some other variation. They last week increased the rating from 93 plus to 94 plus, and they added in greats of the game heroes and the footies one team, but they took out the icons. Remember, that was like the caveat to this SPC. It had the greats of the game heroes and the footies team one and heroes excluding icons. So in my opinion, they're going to go the lazy route today and just refresh this SPC, but include team two non-icons. So technically you would have a chance at packing Hansen, Lewandowski, and uh, Rolfo today from this, Benzema as well, but I think the chances from that are going to be pretty slim. Last week, the greats of the game heroes, the make your mark, and the some of the lower tier team of tournament cards were very packable from this, and there was like almost all Copa America P uh, team of tournament cards, if you guys remember that. We opened them on stream. We'll be opening some more of these on stream today as well. I would imagine it's a similar type of player pick, 85, 88 rated for the requirements. Last week with one team of the season required, that's going to help your Todd's card prices today go up a little bit more after content with all the other 84 times 10s that will be refreshing and everything as well. So I would definitely watch that part of the fodder market and it's going to be basically free to craft, of course, whatever it is, because at this stage of the game, you guys know. Everything is easy to craft, especially when it's two squads like a player pick like this. So that could actually make the 84s and 85s move. If you want to invest, there could be a bit more movement in those prices today. So just something to mention there. And then player species, of course, we had the Werner yesterday. Who are we going to get today is the real question, right? We've had plenty of player SBCs during our footies time so far. They're almost always leaked right before content. So I wouldn't be surprised if you saw something along those lines today. Um, you know, we've kind of been on this hero icon SBC kick, at least a little bit from EA. Last Thursday was the Donovan and the Scott. So I don't know, maybe they'll do another hero SBC. I know we had Joe Cole pretty recently as well and Harry Maguire. So, and then with the Werner yesterday, that was just a regular footies card. Maybe they'll drop another hero or an icon in today. We will have to see. Um, I wouldn't expect a massive one, I'll be honest. But again, you never know. Maybe we get a leak and maybe something big is going to be coming. I will say the Ferlin Mendy from FIFA 22, we were talking about this in the stream. The Ferlin Mendy from FIFA 22, it was such an insane, crazy big SBC. And the Ronaldinho last year, cover star icon from F, uh, FIFA 23, was uh, from the first week. Both those SBCs were from the first week of August. So we have to imagine that maybe that's when they would give us the next big player SBC. Could be this weekend, another Butrogonio-esque level SBC, high rated card, 98 or 99. Whenever they drop the first 99 rated card as an SBC, we will be there, okay? Because it's going to be a banger. It's going to be a good one. And I really, really hope that that's this weekend. We've had 97s. Can we get a 98 and then go up to a 99? Or can we just go straight to a 99 EA? That is where we want to be. I know a lot of us would just really love somewhat like an iconic player. It doesn't have to be an icon, but just somebody massive. Butro was good. We need something also really massive to just go boom straight in our team. No contest. Insane stats. Five star, five star. Great play stat pluses. That is really what we need again in this game to continue the desire to want to keep crafting, if I'm being completely honest, right? Now, also, Tuesday Evolution. I don't remember if it was last week on Tuesday that we had like the Bronze Evo. I think it might have been either Tuesday or Wednesday. So just keep an eye out there as well for another evolution dropping today. I know that we had uh, the 75,000 coin one that I put Kudlusevsky into just recently, the footies free kick crown on Sunday. I would just have to imagine that if there's going to be another evolution, it would be today. Usually by the end of the week, the Evos kind of slow down and they get more spread out. Now, as you can see, I've got seven objectives in here, but I'm not claiming them. I need to play one more game. And also I'm saving all of the footies crafting upgrades for an opening later on this week. Hopefully we get that all done. We're going to put some work in today on these. I got to go do some gold upgrades. Got to get some exchanges crafting and going. Maybe put aside my progress on Butra for a second to keep that on going. And then I also got to play champ. You see my tot squad here. I'm 1-0. 
and I got to get the best weekend league record that I can with this team. Hopefully get 10 wins. We'll see what we can do. I'm not expecting a ton of content today, guys, but hopefully something to tap into, open up the 94 plus picks. Those will be a fun little segue on a Tuesday, of course. And then, of course, if you're still ripping through the crafting upgrade, 81 plus picks, chasing after anybody from batch one or the rare footies player. Like, man, I've, I've packed a lot of the low tier ones. You know, I, I hit a Betty yesterday in a player pick. I hit Diego Carlos in a player pick as well. But, you know, over the two weeks of footies, I have not hit anything even middle to remotely like decent. I've hit only fodder cards. So, uh, that's with opening a store pack each week as well, hoping that that can still change and maybe the, the Gamble Tuesday pack today give us a chance at that. So we'll be watching to see if any other crazy news comes out, but it's another Tuesday of footies and we're here for good player picks, man. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow and a stream today. Links in the description and check out the second channel, of course, as we mentioned, it's a native account. See you guys there. Peace out.